You see, creativity is infectious. And one of the ways to communicate creativity is through words. Now, sometimes when a creative idea comes into your human spirit, it comes like a hunch. You just know deep inside of you that this idea will work. The fourth dimension is a realm where you can find ideas if you tune into the right frequency. Even God communicated his creative thoughts through words. God never created anything without speaking first. Now in my last episode, I shared with you four different channels where you can get creative ideas. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you an additional six channels where you can get new ideas from, where you can get creative ideas from, where you can get original ideas from. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, the first channel where you can get creative ideas is through the Holy Spirit's infilling. Did you know that the very first time that God filled a man with the Holy Spirit, it was not to enable that man speak in tongues? Did you know that the first time that God filled a man with the Holy Spirit, he did it to make the man creative? Now, the importance of knowing this is that you could be filled with the Holy Spirit and not know how to use the capacity that that brings you if you don't know what I'm sharing with you. There are people who are filled with the Holy Spirit, but they are not creative as they should be because they don't know that the Holy Spirit actually came into them to make them creative. Now, I'm going to take you through the first place in the Bible where God actually filled a man with the Holy Spirit. Now, here's what the Bible says. See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahishamak of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee. Now that is amazing. Now, if you look at verse 3 of Exodus 31 again, God was speaking, God Himself was speaking, and He said, I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in all manner of workmanship. Now, if you read Exodus 31 from verse 3 in the message translation, you're going to understand what I'm saying even better. The Bible says, I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him skill and know-how and expertise in every kind of craft to create designs and work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set gemstones to carb wood, He's an all-round craftsman. Now, that is amazing because God is saying, I have filled Bezali with my spirit so that he can create designs needed for the tabernacle. So, in essence, God wanted to make Bezali to be more creative and to be able to create, make, build all the artistic work for the tabernacle. And the first thing God did was to fill him with the Holy Spirit. So, that means that being filled with the Holy Spirit induces you with creative ability, according to the scripture that we just read. Now, in case you're still doubting me, I'm going to show you another scripture. In the book of Acts 1 verse 8, the Bible says something very profound, and Jesus was the one speaking here. And he said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and unto all the uttermost parts of the earth. Now, the word power there comes from a Greek word, dunamis. And the word dunamis actually means inherent ability, inherent ability to effect changes. It also means creative ability. Now, that word dunamis is also akin to the word dynamo. And dynamo represents a generator that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. So that word also talks about the ability to bring a change, to bring a change of state. Now, creativity is what enables you to take raw food or unprocessed food and process it and change the state of that raw material and make it something that people can buy, something that people can eat, something that people can cook. Creativity is what helps you change the state or the energy level of a material, a source material, 
and produce something entirely new from it. So another way to represent creativity is the ability to bring change, to effect changes, to create a new experience, to bring a change of state. And when Jesus Christ was saying you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, he was saying in essence that you shall receive miracle ability, creative ability. You shall receive the ability to effect changes after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and then you shall be witnesses. Now, how do you think God wants us to be witnesses? The original design of God is not for us to just witness by telling stories. God's design is for us to witness by manifesting our creativity. God wants us to bear witness of His wisdom, power, and glory by displaying and manifesting our creative ability through the mighty works that we do. And that is the primary reason why he gave us the Holy Spirit among others. So I have nothing against speaking in tongues because that is something I also enjoy in my relationship with God. But according to scripture, it is clear to see that the primary purpose that the Holy Spirit came into us was to unleash our creativity, to magnify our creative ability, to activate our creative ability. So if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, and you are not manifesting the creativity that God has deposited on the inside of you, then you need to do something about it and you need to ignite that creativity of yours that seems to be dormant. The Holy Spirit was not given to us just to speak in tongues. As beautiful as speaking in tongues is, there's more to having the Holy Spirit than just being able to speak in in tongues. The primary purpose of having the Holy Spirit is to unleash your creativity, to release your creativity, to be able to effect changes in your environment, in your workplace, and in everything that you lay your hands to do. It's a sad reality that most believers are only conscious of the fact that the power of God can bring bodily miracles to them, but they have not been made aware of the fact that that same power of God can bring to them mind miracles. And what is a mind miracle? A mind miracle is the extraordinary ability to use the power of your mind, to use the forces of your mind to bring a change, a desired change into existence. So when someone conceives an idea and produces something, produces a solution, produces a result, produces an outcome that the world needs, that person is using the forces of his mind to bring about a change. And that is one of the primary reasons why you have the Holy Spirit. The next channel from which you can get creative ideas is from the fourth dimension. Now there are zero dimensional thinkers, there are one dimensional thinkers, thinkers, there are two-dimensional thinkers, there are three-dimensional thinkers, and there are 4D thinkers. Now, the fourth dimension is a realm far removed from the third-dimensional plane of existence where you and I live. The fourth dimension is a realm that is invisible to the optical eyes. The fourth dimension is a realm bounded on the north by wisdom, bounded on the south by knowledge, bounded on the west by faith, and bounded on the east by understanding. The fourth dimension is a realm where you can find ideas if you tune into the right frequency. Just like you have radio waves in the atmosphere, and the moment you are able to tune into the right frequency, you begin to get radio signals. That is the same way we have creative ideas, creativity signals in the fourth dimensional frequency. And when you are able to tune into that frequency, you'll be able to get and tap creative ideas and bring them into the third dimensional plane where you can bring those creative signals, those creative ideas into reality for people to touch, see, feel and experience the reality of those ideas. Now, the man George Washington Carver was a man who discovered 300 inventions from the peanut and who was reputed to have said that there were radio waves carrying inaudible music around and only people who can tune into that frequency are able to tap into that music. Now that man discovered 300 inventions from the peanut and he understood this principle of fourth dimensional thinkers. There are many inventions, many ideas, many creations that are catalogued in the fourth dimensional plane of existence and only people who are able to tap into that realm will be able to pull ideas. Did you know that all the fabulous inventions that we see around today, they have always been in existence many years before they were even discovered on earth? Did you know that inventions of technology could have been possible a thousand years ago if people were sensitive enough at that time 
or if their minds were developed and mature enough to pull those ideas. Now, even as you're listening to this, there are still many ideas, many creative signals that are hovering around in the fourth dimensional plane of existence waiting for interested seekers. These ideas have been cataloged there by God waiting for those who would unlock it through curiosity. Now, the next way you can tap into creative ideas or generate new ideas is through your human spirit. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 20 verse 27, it says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching the inward parts of the belly. So every man has this candle in him, whether born again or not. And that's why you see that even atheists can manifest creativity because they have a human spirit in them. And this human spirit, if conditioned and trained properly, is able to generate creative ideas by tapping into the spirit realm or the fourth dimensional realm where creative ideas and creative signals have been cataloged. Now, whenever people get a creative idea or a mind shift, they say, oh, that was a light bulb moment because it feels as if a light was turned on on the inside. No wonder Paul, when he was praying in the book of Ephesians, he prayed that we would receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him and that the eyes of our understanding be flooded with light be illuminated why was paul making that prayer because the moment the eyes of your understanding or the eyes of your human spirit is lit up or is flooded with light you are able to see and know and know things and find creative ideas now sometimes when a creative idea comes into your human spirit it comes like a hunch it comes like an intuition like a gut feeling you just know deep inside of you that this idea would work or you just know that this is the solution to that problem. That is your intuition that is a function of the human spirit that is at work on the inside of you. Now, that is another way you can receive creative ideas. Now, the thing about these things that I'm sharing with you is that if you're not conscious of them, you'll pass over these opportunities repeatedly when they show up. You will not know how to tap into it or how to harness these things, even if these things are already operational in you. But the moment you get this consciousness that creativity is resident on the inside of you and that you can tap into it consistently by navigating the fourth dimension and that you also have the infilling of the Holy Spirit which also makes you creative by design, you will need to take advantage of these avenues. Now, the next way that you can tap into creative ideas is by asking questions. Now, the first female Prime Minister of India goes by the name Indira Gandhi and interestingly she's in no way related to the famous Mahatma Gandhi now that's by the way but Indira Gandhi made a very profound statement she said questions are the basis for all human progress hmm how true now if I were to take a cue from that I would say questions are the basis for all human invention and creation every creation and invention of humans came by reason of a question and that is why you must not overlook the importance of asking questions in your career in your job in whatever it is that you do i know there are people who mock you who laugh at you for asking questions that we often call silly questions but i've come to discover in my career that those seemingly silly questions sometimes hold the greatest answers that unlock creative ideas and creative manifestations even the bible says ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you the bible also says you have not because you ask not so one way to tap into creative ideas is to actually ask for those ideas is to ask questions and there are different resources and different sources that you can ask for answers when you feel like you need that creative boost you can ask god like solomon did when he asked god for wisdom you can ask yourself because you have a human spirit inside of you who listens to you and who answers you when you ask you can ask the holy spirit you have the Holy Spirit that searches all things, even the deep things of God. And you can ask people around you. You can even do a Google search. Just ask questions. Because asking questions is a vital key to unlocking your creativity. Now, another way to receive creative ideas is by listening to inspired words. You see, creativity is infectious. And one of the ways to communicate creativity is through words. Now, what are words? Words are simply thoughts clothed in vocabulary now if you listen to the man named steve jobs a man who founded the apple company one of the greatest companies of all times steve jobs had an extraordinary way of inspiring creativity in all those who worked with him he had an extraordinary way of painting pictures in the minds of people 
in a way that they see themselves featuring in those pictures and they see themselves getting a desired outcome or a preferred future in the pictures through the words that he speaks to them. He inspired the world to using phones without keypads by his words. He inspired a revolution in the world ecosystem with his words. Creativity is very contagious and communicable through words. And that is why if you're a manager, if you're someone who is a leader, you want to be able to use words in an inspiring way to create pictures in the hearts of people. Because one of the ways we can be creative is by listening to inspired words. Even God communicated his creative thoughts through words. God never created anything without speaking first. The Bible would say that God said, let there be, and then there was. God said, let us do, and then they did. Words are one of the most powerful ways to transmit creativity or to tap into creativity. Now, why is this important? Even the Bible says, by thy words you shall be justified, and by thy words you shall be condemned. It is important to be very conscious of the kind of words you allow into your heart, because every word that comes into your mind is creating a picture, is creating an image that turns into an imagination, and when that imagination is allowed to grow, it produces an action. And when it produces an action, you're either creating something destructive or creating something constructive. So if you want to be a constructive creator, you want to only open up your mind to words that add value to people. And then the next way you can tap into the source of creativity is by mingling with creative people. The Bible says, as iron sharpened iron, so does a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. The Bible also says that he that walks with the wise become wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. So when you walk with people who are creative, you become creative by association. But when you move with people who are destructive, you will be destructive and ultimately be destroyed. I'm going to leave it here for today. If you receive some value from today's episode, I want to encourage you to like, share, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to this podcast on whatever platform you listen to your podcast, and also anticipate my next episode. Till then, have a good one.